This is a power transistor curve tracer. The 2N3055 is the transistor. The collector current capability is 1 amp. The collector emitter voltage capability is 0 to 10 volts. Lab view and the Arduino was used. Here's the lab view front panel for a few transistor curves. Lab view block diagram here will be described later. The circuit diagram has a constant current supply and two op amp amplifiers. Here's all the supporting hardware. Here's the circuit. The transistor base current is controlled by a constant current circuit. Base current is adjusted with this 1K potentiometer. One amplifier has a gain of one-third, positive one-third. The second amplifier has a gain of positive one-half. LabVIEW channel A receives VCC times one-third. LabVIEW channel B receives the collector voltage times one-half. Channel A is read here and multiplied by three. Channel B is read here and multiplied by two. The collector emitter voltage is plotted on the horizontal axis. The collector current is calculated and plotted on the vertical axis. 4.1 ohms is the shunt resistor. Here's the 50 watt 4.1 ohm shunt resistor. There's the VCC amplifier and that is the collector voltage amplifier. And the constant base current circuit. Base current is measured. Collector emitter voltage is measured. Collector current and VCC are adjusted and measured here. There's the power transistor plus and minus 15 volt power supply for the op amps and 5 volt for constant current supply. Lab view input terminal block. There's the load line. It's shown as IB changes. This completes the documentation of our power transistor curve tracer using lab view. A previous attempt used an Arduino instead of lab view. Arduino results were printed on the serial monitor and then plotted with Excel. Here's the circuit diagram simplified and the hardware. LabVIEW is better because it permits a real-time plot for each base current. 